welcome let us solve the example number 19 of chapter 3 this is very important example and it says a boat goes 30 kilometer upstream and 44 kilometer downstream in 10 hours in 13 hours it can go 40 kilometers upstream and 55 kilometer downstream determine the speed of the stream and that of the boat in still water. Let us see how to solve this example. We have to find the speed of the stream and the speed of the boat in still water. So we let the speed of the boat in still water is equals to x kilometer per hour same as we let the speed of the stream is equals to y kilometer per hour then the speed of the boat downstream is equals to x plus y kilometer per hour and this is because when a boat goes downstream this means in the direction of the flow then the speed of the stream this means speed of the current or we can say the speed of the flow of the water is added to the speed of the boat then we write if the speed of the boat in still water is x kilometer per hour and the speed of the stream is y kilometer per hour then the speed of the boat downstream will be x plus y kilometer per hour same as the speed of the boat upstream this means against the stream will be x minus y kilometer per hour and this is because when a boat goes in opposite direction of the stream this means in opposite direction of the flow of the water then the speed of the stream this means flow the speed of the flow of water is subtracted from the speed of the boat in still water and now we shall form our equations in case 1 we are given that the boat goes 30 km upstream and 44 km downstream in 10 hours 30 km upstream this means 30 km with this speed x minus y and 44 km downstream this means with this speed this means speed of x plus y and we know that distance upon speed is equals to time this is time this is also time if we add these two times then this is equals to 10 hours this is given to us let this is our equation number one and now we shall move to the case second in case second we are given that the boat goes 40 km upstream and 55 km downstream in 13 hours so we shall add these two times this is our equation number two and now we shall solve these two equations by changing them into a linear equations and for that we shall let 1 over 
x minus y is equals to p and 1 over x plus y is equals to q and now we shall place the values of 1 over x minus y and 1 over x plus y in these two equations then we have 30 p plus 44 q equals to 10 let this is our equation number 3 same as it will be 40 p plus 55 q equals to 13 and this is our equation number 4 and now we shall solve these two equations by using elimination method and for that we have to make the coefficients of any of the two variables equal and then we subtract or add so we observe that if we multiply this 30 with 4 then we get 120 and if we multiply this 40 by 3 then we get 120 therefore we shall multiply equation number 3 by 4 and equation number 4 by 3 we get 120 p plus 4 times 44 is equals to 176 then it will be 176 q and this is will be equals to 40 uh, and now we shall multiply equation number 4 by 3 then we have 120 p plus if we multiply 3 with 55 then we get 165 q and here is 39 and now we shall subtract these two equations and for that we have to change the sign of this term this term and this term and now we can cancel out these two terms and here is 176 positive and 165 are negative so if we subtract then we have 11 q here we have 1 therefore q is equals to 1 over 11 and now we shall put this value in equation number 3 to get the value of P equation number 3 is 30 P 30 P plus 44 Q Q is 1 over 11 equals to 10 and this is equals to 4 here we have 10 this is 30 P this means 30 p is equals to 6 this means p is equals to 6 over 30 this means 1 over 5 therefore the value of p is 1 over 5 now we have the value of p and q but we have to find the value of x and y this means we have to form another equations and for that we shall write when p is equals to 1 over 5 and we let p is equals to 1 over x minus y before forming the equation number 3 and equation number 4 this is equals to 1 over 5 this means x minus y is equals to 5 we let that this is our equation number 5 same as when q is equals to 1 over 11 then 1 over x plus y is equals to 1 over 11 this is equals to x plus y equals to 11 we let that this is our equation number 6 and now we shall add equation number 
5 and equation number 6 we get x minus y is equals to 5 x plus y is equals to 11 if we add these values these equations then these two values of x and y x y um, I'm sorry y will be cancelled here we have 2x here we have 16 this means x is equals to 8 and now we shall put this value in equation number 5 so that or equation number 6 so that we can find the value of y then 8 plus y is equals to 11 this means y is equals to 3 so we have calculated both the values of x and y this means the speed of boat in still water is equals to 8 km per hour and the speed of the stream is equals to 3 km per hour so this is the solution of the question thank you